please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Oswobi. Okada ban begins today. Lagos deploys more boats. The fresh ban imposed on operations of commercial motorcycles, popularly called Okada, in six local governments and nine local council development areas of Lagos State by the state governor, Babajide Sonwolu, takes effect from Wednesday today. They reported that Sonwolu had on May 18, 2022, announced the ban at a meeting with the State Commissioner of Police, Area Commanders and Divisional Police Officers at the State House in Alausa. The whole of Sule local government, the whole of Intiosa local government, the whole of mainland local government, the whole of Apapa local government, and the whole of Lagos Island local government. A total ban, a total ban from this and all of the islands affected from the 1st of June. This is the first planning that we are going to get back in on so that others know that in a short while, either they get out or for something else to do. Effective from June 1, 2022, the governor directed security operatives to enforce the prescription order across the councils Etiosa, Ikeja, Surulere, Lagos Island. Lagos mainland and Apapa as the enforcement begins. The Lagos Ferry Services said it has been deployed more boats and increased daily operational trips at terminals and jetties located within areas in the states where activities of the commercial motorcyclists has been banned. The head public affairs, Lag Ferry, Akim Odushino, made this known in a statement made available to newsmen on Tuesday. The terminal and jetties, according to the statement, include the Badore Terminal, Badore, Ipakodo Terminal, Ikorudu, Five Cowries Terminal, Ikoyi, CMS Victoria Island Terminal, Liverpool Terminal, Apapa and Ilajel Bariga Terminal, Bariga. In the statement, Odushino noted that traveling by water is 100% traffic free and there are first mile and last mile buses available at the terminal parks to take passengers to their final destinations. While assuring the commuting public of safe, fast, reliable and convenient experience on the waterways, the statement added that the terminal have secured ample car park spaces. Meanwhile, the Lagos state government had said that there is no need for any anxiety over the planned enforcement of the Ogada ban. Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Bengal Motor Show, in a statement said measures have been put in place to forestall any disturbance, adding that the ban will be enforced without any compromise. There is no need for any anxiety over the enforcement of the ban, which has been hailed by the majority of Lagosians as a reinforcement of the Lagos Traffic Law 2012, amended in 2018. The statement read in part. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Oswobi?